Today's featured gadget is going to monitor parasitic draws on a level that these two devices could never match. I call it a parasitic logger due to its extensive use of the 8-scope voltmeter module logging capabilities. First, let's turn it on. 8-scope has recognized it. Let's go to the probe database. A new probe has been added, V equals A. It performs two tasks. One is that instead of displaying in volts, it displays in amps. And the other is with the auto offset on, the instant the probe is selected, a zero level calibration is performed. And it is rock solid 0 0.00 amp. Before hooking it up to the battery, we're going to take a couple of preventative steps so that uh, the modules do not get reawakened during this process. First, we're going to cheat the door latch and wait for the currency lights to come off. This will give us access to the passenger compartment if we need to get to the fuse panel that's in there or the DLC. We're going to be disconnecting the negative terminal of the battery, so I'm going to put this memory saver in. You'll recognize this as gadgets number 14, a DeWalt powered memory saver. Now we can disconnect the terminal. And connect our parasitic logger. And now we can disconnect our memory saver. I've set the record interval at 60 seconds. Start logging. The lithium battery pack in here can last for hours, round the clock if need be. And the Android device can be put to sleep and as long as it's kept within 30 feet, it will continue to log. Here are the internals of the gadget. The current flows through this 5 amp fuse, through this 1 ohm 100 watt resistor, and back to the battery terminal. This is the HS101 Pro Bluetooth oscilloscope that we built in the previous video, gadgets number 116. Its sole purpose is to measure the voltage drop across that 1 ohm resistor. It keeps it simple. 1 volt drop across that resistor means that there's 1 amp flowing through the circuit. I've used this 3350 milliamp power bank on a number of projects now. It sports a massive 2650 lithium battery and comes complete with a charge controller. We tap in at the 5 volt output on the USB. It is switched before it goes to the PCB board. Here's a final look at it before we close it up. A picture is worth a thousand words, so there's a couple of them in the link uh, that you'll find in the description box, as well as a parts list for this. LED charge indicator. 5 amp fuse that protects against an incidental high amp draw that would cause this 1 ohm resistor to overheat. Okay, so the logger is still connected to the battery and broadcasting. It settled down and we're getting less than 40 milliamps. Now here's the cherry on top. Not only does that logger generate a CSV file that is uh, friendly to uh, spreadsheets, you know, you can uh, dive right in there, but it's got its own built-in graphing capabilities. So have a look at that. 
And throughout the process, as it logged, we're able to view it in graph form automatically. It can be left on for much longer durations if you uh, suspect that uh, there's an intermittent problem, maybe with a body control module or the instrument cluster, something that comes back on later on during the night. So you can leave it overnight, you get a big graph as to what took place. Um, there's no other instrument that will do that. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. Thumbs up to help out the channel. And we'll catch you guys soon.